This is the new interface for the automatic real test and evaluation system Artis, which features three and a half inch touchscreen, a jog dial for controlling and menu navigation, two functional keys which serve as start and stop, and also for saving and navigation purposes. Additionally, we have two communication ports, one is USB and one is Ethernet. Also, we feature a micro SD slot, which I will be explaining in another video. The new interface is faster and more responsive than anything we had before. As you see now, this is the boot process. It takes a mere five seconds to be ready to use in field. So as you see, the system has started up. Now I can already go ahead and start an output in mere seconds. The local mode features nine memory banks which store all necessary information for testing like the monitor settings, supply voltage for the current amplifier in terms of a 560 and limit values which are not exceeded at any point. You can also assign specific names to each preset to find them easier in navigation. For simple controlling and operation, we have created the symmetric monitor. In this monitor, you have access to voltage, current, system frequency and the angle between voltage and current. The controlling is done by using the jog dial and our smart touch technology. As you see, I select the voltage, which is now highlighted, and then I simply use the jog dial to change its value. Right now, the change is not final. So the value is only stored in a temporary memory, but as soon as I press down the drop dial, the changes are accepted. Of course I can change multiple instances at once if I wish to, and then accept them all with one click. Also, it is possible to use our delta control, which features the option to change all values at the same time, one single turn. Again, the system waits for input, so the LED ring is flashing. To stop the output, we simply press Escape. Also, we have the second monitor in this, which allows you to view all binary states. In here, you can also set trigger scenarios, like rising and falling, or activate the binary outputs. Additionally, to our symmetric monitor, we have also a static monitor. The static version of our output functions features the same functionality as the Artist V4 basis software, but comes with a small addition to it. So as you see now, we have three channels shown directly. They are more active, so I have to move my window up and down to access my desired channel. And if I want to change the number of channels, I simply have to swipe down from the top, then I have this small selection bar and now I can activate and deactivate certain channels. Controlling is the same as in the symmetric monitor. Simply start the output, select the desired value, use your job dial and change the value. Then accept the changes by pressing down the job dial. To access the delta values in this monitor, you have to activate them for each parameter. So now I have all voltages activated for a delta value. Go into my delta control, activate my delta voltage. You can also set a number for it, let's say 25 volts. And now when I turn the jog dial, changes are accepted only on the press. Additionally to that, we also feature custom delta values. These can be added to specific channels and have also specific numbers. For instance, I have set now 5 volts to U1. Here I have 25 volts. But if I turn the drop dial, those 25 volts are completely ignored and only 5 volts are applied to this channel. Same goes for different changes. I can also set minus values so I can create a voltage drop or a 
I can create different scenarios like this. I will now demonstrate how to test a simple overcurrent time protection using our new interface. For this, I will be using the symmetric monitor, which allows me an easy and fast control. I know my connected relay has a trip value from 1.5 amp. So, I start my output, increase my current, and then accept the changes by pressing the job dial. As you see, pickup comes in and trip came in. The system is still running because I did not select any triggers. This can be done by changing the monitor and then selecting the desired channel. For trip time evaluation, I'm going to set a trigger for my trip command. Now by pressing start, the system outputs the same values and as soon as it measures the trip command, it evaluates the time. To test an excitation, you can use another method. Now I deactivate the trigger for tripping and activate it for pickup. With this and our dynamic mode, I can easily test a pickup value. So, setting the current back to 1 amp, start my output, and I'm in dynamic mode, so I select my current, increase it, and as you saw, as soon as the pickup comes, the system sees the pickup, stops the output, and now you have your exact pickup value. This concludes our demonstration of the new user interface from the automatic relay test and evaluation system, Artus. Do note that this user interface can be upgraded from older systems. If you need further information, please let us know.